The unremarkable facade of this inner city home concealed a macabre secret, but it couldn't contain the odor. You smell these smells, and I live right there. And I used to be in the house like, oh, we used to come out here like, oh, the smells just be horrible. But when I know it was no dead body, you just think it was the sewer system. Police have now recovered 10 bodies from the property. Five were concealed inside the house and five buried round the back. All the remains were of black women, the latest discovered in a manual search of the garden. What happened today when we went back, to continue our investigation, we also took some dog with, dogs with us, cadaver dogs. They weren't successful because of the wind, but we also had a backhoe and we continued just to dig it up, just to make sure we covered all our bases. As we were doing that, we discovered four more bodies in the backyard. This is the man who lived there, 50-year-old Anthony Soule, a convicted rapist who'd been released from jail four years ago. He's now been charged with five counts of aggravated murder, rape, felonious assault and kidnapping. And the number of his alleged victims could rise. A skull was found in the basement, wrapped in paper and hidden in a bucket. <laughs> An agonizing wait for families of missing relatives, including the daughter of Nancy Cobbs, who vanished in April. I just hope that it's not my mother, and I hope that she can come home. Now police are facing questions. They'd been called to the house on several occasions, most recently two weeks ago when a naked woman fell out of a window. No charges were filed.